In this video, we're going to be installing Viair's automatic deployment air system on this 2013 Wrangler Rubicon. This kit comes with a mounting bracket, compressor, wiring harness, and digital gauge for filling up your tires. This kit comes with a bracket designed for the 2012 Jeep Wrangler JK. But for our application on this 2013 Wrangler, it worked out great. Attach the compressor to the mounting bracket using the supplied mounting hardware. For this application, the quick connect will face the firewall while the intake faces the radiator. Remove the intake plug and firmly screw on the air filter. Be sure not to cross thread or strip the plastic threads. Under the hood, locate and remove the two nuts that secure the master cylinder to the brake booster. For this step, you will need a half inch wrench. Carefully lower the compressor and mounting bracket into position. It should end up sitting against the master cylinder opposite the brake booster. Now reinstall and tighten the master cylinder nuts to factory specs. At this point, it may be easier to access the nuts and tighten them from underneath the wheel well by pulling back the plastic trim. Now attach the shorter leg of the Delphi connector to the 10 mm grounding stud located near the brake booster. With the ground tightly in place, you can now connect the wiring harness to the compressor. Next, the eyelet connector nearest the inline fuse is attached to the positive battery terminal. This is done without the fuse installed. Secure the battery wire to the firewall and run both the battery wire and ground wire through the firewall on the driver's side of the vehicle. With your battery wire and compressor wire in the cab, you can now hook up your switch. The battery wire goes in the center terminal of the switch. The compressor wire goes to the other silver terminal of the switch. The provided ground harness goes to the brass colored terminal of the switch. The eyelet of the ground harness then goes to any ground stud near your desired switch mounting location. I chose the driver's side grounding stud near the OBD2 port. With everything connected, install the inline fuse and verify the function of your switch. Test the function of the compressor and check all components for leaks. If there are any leaks, find and correct the problem. As a safety precaution, you can relieve the pressure before attaching or detaching components. If not, then be wary of flying objects. In the kit, Viar provides a remote mount hose. You can remove your air filter, attach the hose to the compressor, run it inside the cab, and put your filter on in the cab, always having clean, fresh air for your compressor. Now you are ready to use and enjoy your new Viair automatic deployment air system.